Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to give you some graphical intuition that how you can bring this particular bell shape curve, okay? So this popularly known as Gaussian distribution, which is widely used in many engineering modeling. And I am sure that if you have taken any course like probability theory and random process or statistics for engineers, this type of course, then you, you might have done uh, many mathematics and experiments based on this particular graph. So what I will do, I will just give you some flavor of graphical intuition that how this bell shape curve we can bring using uh, simply play with uh, different mathematical equations, okay? So at a first instance, what you can conclude after observing this particular graph, you can see that this is centered around zero, the peak is at uh, zero, and in the right hand side of the zero, this is exponentially decreasing, okay? As we are moving from zero to infinite. And here, if we are moving from minus infinite to zero, this graph is taking like exponentially increasing, okay? So from minus infinity to zero, this is taking like exponentially increasing and from zero to infinite, it is taking like, sorry, exponentially decreasing, right? So let us do that kind of thing. So what I am doing, I am taking my range from minus two to uh, zero first and we have seen that it is looking like exponentially increasing function. So x equal to exponentially increasing function I have made and then plot t comma x comma red color graph I am plotting okay which is like this kind of exponentially increasing part which is basically left hand side of our desired graph bell shape curve okay then I will be copying the same code and I will be pasting here with one hold on okay and here now I will uh, plot from 0 to 2 and that time we have seen that is looking like exponentially decreasing and if I just run this particular part of the code I will be getting this kind of graph which is uh, roughly looking like one bell shape but very sharp and not at all very good equation we are taking. So here we are basically dividing our equation into two parts. So it is always better that you model using one single equation. So let us do that. So try to fill the pattern. When time is taking negative value, then we are putting as it is. But when time is taking positive value, we are taking negative of that. Okay. That means overall what we are doing, always whatever term we are passing via this exponential part is basically negative term. Try to understand. When time is negative, we are passing as it is. When time is taking positive, we are taking negative of that. That means inside exponential always there should be negative term. So what function we can use to make a term always negative irrespective of whatever value it is taking? I hope you know absolute or modulus of any number. Absolute uh, function has a property that it will give always positive value whatever function, you, whatever number you, if you pass. So if you take negative of absolute, you can combine these two equation. That's what I am going to do now. Okay. So what I will do, I will define my time sample range from minus 2 to 2. And I don't bother about time value. What I will do simply, I will write x equal to exponential of minus of absolute part of t. So it will make always this term negative because absolute of t will always make this term positive. So if I just run, see. Now, using a single equation, we are achieving this, which is uh, indicating we are going in a good direction, um, right direction. Now, the problem is that if you observe this graph and this graph, this particular bell shape curve is very smooth. Here in this maximum uh, peak part, it is very smooth. Whereas this one is very uh, sharp, okay? A sudden change is happening. And this particular part also, if you observe, very smooth. Whereas this one is also not that much smooth. It is kind of steep, very high slope it is taking. So uh, uh, this particular concept, I, can, I hope you can easily understand if you just have done some mathematics, uh, higher level calculus and derivation, Okay, that is nothing but always you can smooth your curve if you take higher order polynomial. This is only absolute of t. The main function, main value, whatever we are passing is basically linear term. So if we are taking some higher term, that is uh, higher order term, higher order polynomial and higher, uh, that will make this linear uh, change a smooth one, hopefully. Okay, 
let us try with that we are doing experiment no problem so what i will do absolute of t dot power 2 why dot power 2 because t is basically not a single value this vector okay and when you are take, uh, taking square then there is no meaning of taking absolute part because square will always make this term positive now if i just run this particular part of the code see how beautifully we are getting almost like one bell shape okay we can see exact bell shape see this is uh, taking peak at 1 okay and uh, center at 0 and this is perfectly coming like one bell shape right now what we can do we can play around mean and standard deviation okay so to change the mean means we have to shift this graph center which is centered around 0 to some other value maybe 3 maybe 4 maybe minus 3 maybe minus 4 whatever so that comes under nothing but time shifting whatever we have studied in our digital signal processing and i hope you know well how to do time shifting that is f of x from f of x we need to convert f of x minus alpha or f of x plus alpha where our x is this t so what i will do maybe f of t minus 3 i can do so what will happen this will uh, take our whole graph centered around t equal to 3 okay initially it was uh, taking the graph centered around 0 but this time it will shift in the right hand side because we are doing t minus 3 so it will the whole graph will be shifted in the right hand side by value 3 and it will take center at t equal to 3 but the problem is that i am taking my range from minus 2 to 2 so there is a possibility that the whole graph will not accommodate in this range so i am increasing the range of my graph in the right hand side to 10 i am taking and if i just run sorry uh, here you can see this particular graph now it is basically taking the peak around uh, some value between 2 and 4 which is exactly at 3 right if you want you can go to tools and go to data cards and take the point here and uh, you will be getting at x equal to 3 y equal to 1 maximum value it is taking so beautifully we have adjusted the mean part okay maybe i can take minus 3 also minus 5 also any value suppose i am taking minus 3 okay so whether uh, these brackets are matched or not you have to check i hope there is okay here one more bracket i have to give control and evaluate selection see here it is not coming because range is up to minus 2 i am taking let me take up to minus 10 and here positive direction up to 2 because we are not focusing on positive direction that much now see our graph is centered around at minus 3 okay my between minus 2 and minus 4 it is coming right so this is how you can play with mean now the concept comes how we can change the width okay so this is width of our graph you can see now suppose i want to expand uh, or uh, basically uh, make this particular part wider so that is nothing but what time scaling okay you know that time scaling make our graph expanded our signal expanded right so we'll be doing that here our whole signal term on this particular whole term we have to apply that uh, scaling right so maybe what i can do i can keep this particular term as it is and i am i can plot in some other using some other function here same one i am taking just here one more bracket i am adding and i am dividing this whole t minus 3 maybe by 5 as a result this should be expanded okay so if you just observe okay let me just take range bit bigger otherwise it will not accommodate and this expanded graph color let me give green color okay now you can see that okay let me change this from minus 20 to 20 see our green curve is much wider than our red curve so this is how you can play with the width part okay so here i am basically increasing the width suppose you want to decrease the width i will be giving some lower value 0 0.5 okay giving lower value and when you are dividing that means nothing but you are doing time compression right so here i can if i run see this green curve which is basically where we are changing the white is lesser uh, wider than our red curve okay so this is how we can play with this particular width term and this is how we can play with this particular mean term okay so see our formula where uh, it ended e to the power minus of t minus 
some value may be mu by sigma whole square okay now suppose i am considering only this particular term okay where uh, just i want to show you how we can change the scale now it is taking maximum at 1 if you want to change the scale factor just multiply with some amplitude maybe 3 and then it will take maximum at 3 all right so this is how using time shifting time scaling amplitude shifting you can uh, feel this particular gaussian distribution so what we are doing basically now if you see this formula using this mu you are basically x minus mu means you are basically doing time shifting okay by sigma when you are doing if you take this sigma square inside this particular square term you will be getting x minus mu by sigma when you are dividing by sigma that means what you are doing you are doing time scaling and this particular is nothing but whatever uh, 1 by sigma into root over of uh, 2 pi this particular time is nothing but for amplitude shifting right so try to feel this idea with respect to concept of signal and system now you may ask where this exact term 2 root over of 2 pi how this came this cannot be done using intuition okay i have just shown you one intuition this constant terms we cannot get using intuition these are basically achieved to make this whole equation such that mean become mu and sigma become standard deviation we have used sigma just to change the width now we have to change the sigma such that it becomes standard deviation okay to make that this kind of constant term we will put adjust okay that i am not going to discuss just i tried to show you some mathematical a play or graphical play with this particular Gaussian distribution and I hope it is clear to you. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.